hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh, in this video i want to talk about uh, two things i want to address in this video so apparently davido's baby mama point of correction um she's not a baby mama she's a lady that came out and claimed to be pregnant uh, with his child so i really want to start stop using the word baby mama uh, uh, congr has congratulated him as the story of him having a uh, uh, giving birth to twins uh, is spreading okay now he has not come out to say it let me actually cl clarify um somebody let me show you guys this where a part of the reasons why the news is um continue to go and then oh sorry the other story is about how the christian association of nigeria recognized the uh, regina daniels okay well let me let me show you guys this um so there's somebody by the somebody by the name of you who they say is the music executive uh, confirmed the news okay this is what he posted on twitter he said and i let me tell you guys i'm feeling like i don't know the OVA. let me say that but if this is a music executive he has a platform he's somebody that wouldn't i wouldn't think we just want to spread the news that is not true but let me leave it at that but this is what he said confirmed davido and chioma double blessings you see he didn't say children he said double blessings but we know in nigeria when you say double blessings people's minds always go to that and the fact that he he he, he mentioned the man and the wife you understand so we wait and say at the same time davido himself posted and said gonna be the best week of my life amen and he put two faces one is with kisses and the other one is with a hello meanwhile you know um this picture has been circulating as a proof that he just had a baby and uh, he replied and when i saw this picture i remember that this picture was shared when they had their their son that died so when this picture as this picture was going around the only thing davido said about this was said stop circulating old pictures thank you after he wrote that this person wrote and said it's not a rumor obviously if not it would it would have been stop circulating fake news so the video did not say it's fake news only said that picture is an old picture so this uh, lady this person now said it's true but the pictures that are being circulated is an old picture of when ifani was born bloggers are just so insensitive so bloggers that are sharing that picture you know is who this person is referring to another comment said sir you born twins abu you know born you know nigerians <laughs> this is what the person uh, wrote and uh, this one said uh, the news is fake uh, th this person now asked david and said the news is fake or the pictures this one has said share us the current pics boss let's celebrate let's celebrate with you this one says old pictures that means the rumors are true then that means the rumors are true then abby these are the places the news is coming from but it's just the baby mama that was dragging that i want to show you guys her post this is the lady that dragged that dragged Chioma and said, uh, what is the big deal about having children? This one thing that... Okay, this is what she posted, right? She posted and said, congratulations to Davido and Chioma. Children are blessings. Best of luck as parents, sincerely. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what it is for your enemy to start to congratulate you? This lady by herself made herself the enemy of Chioma. Let me, I always say it already, whatever, if, if she and Davido had whatever, it's between them. But the way she dragged Kioma, she has never said one single thing Kioma did wrong to her. Now she is congratulating Kioma. You guys watching, may your enemies congratulate you. May your blessings be so big that your enemies will have no choice but to congratulate you. Then we, Nigerians are not having it though. The Nigerians descended on <laughs> you know. Nigerians are still there in her comment section. Somebody said, if nine months reach and you did and we didn't see any evidence, we all unfollow you and take your Instagram page down. I promise you. Bet it with me. Another one said, please, time to unfollow her now. Oh, she said please. So I don't know if her please is go ahead and unfollow. Abi don't unfollow. Because you see, she attracted a lot of Nigerians. Let me tell you, for those that may not understand, Nigeria is well populated. And Nigerians get time. <laughs> Nigerians get time. That is why, you see, when Hilda won uh, the Guinness, whatever, Guinness said this is the highest record they have ever seen on their side. In short, their side shut down because of Nigerians. Because we will, our matter, we will carry it like this. What about uh, this Josh, this uh, com Nigerian comedian that is Josh, that went to X Factor? Nigerians shut down X, X Factor website. 
after he you know he's going there for comedy nigeria the population that was hitting their sights and the video of josh i think it was he brought, there was a record like not record like guinness record but like numbers were at record levels that is nigeria for you this lady look he chased cloud he chased and he catch nigeria cloud but that nigeria cloud hey hey god hmm. She said, please, so that please, I don't know what that please, Moku don't follow me, make I rest. Or be a be Moku no, Moku no follow me. In the comments, they are putting uh, uh, memes. They put meme of uh, Davido, no, just like ignoring and eating, uh, I don't care video eating uh, swallow. Another one, Davido bouncing out of a uh, 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 building, right? People are putting this in her comment section. Anyways, she, like I'm saying, she didn't expect this kind of uh, backlash. So that's where that story is. So let me go to Regina Daniels. Okay. Okay, let me just show you guys that she posted this picture and this one and this one and this one. This one. Okay. I just show you guys the picture and I show you guys the caption. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. What is this man wearing? 63. I don't know what. Okay. Right? Okay. <clears throat> now, this is how she captioned it. She said yesterday i attended the 63rd nigerian independence uh, anniversary organized by the christian association of nigeria right it gladdens my heart to hear the first lady speak so passionately about our country she is truly inspiring while we pray for a greater nigeria let us be the change we truly seek for our great country, Nigeria. Now, nothing wrong with her post, nothing wrong with any of those things. But where I got a bit confused is if okay, Christian, if I'm correct, if I'm not correct, you guys correct me because I always say when I'm not sure. I don't I'm not sure. Okay, but Christian Association of Nigeria, right? Uh, which I know is made up mostly of the Pentecostal parts. Okay, okay, but even generally. So did they invite her or she invited herself? I don't know. I'm asking. And why I'm asking is this, in Nigeria, right, Christianity or Christians don't believe in polygamy. They always say that a man's wife is his first wife. Any other wife is not recognized by God. Church, they find out that you're a second wife or your third wife, you will never get a position in the church. Most Nigerian churches that I know, you will never get a position in the church because they believe that you're living in a life of, you're living a life of sin because you're married to a man that was already married. So you're not recognized as, you know, a, a wife. So your life is a life of sin, right? And then, you see, and then I'm not, they can invite her or whatever. What I'm saying is, what I want to, I, want, I don't want people to confuse what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying they shouldn't invite her. That's fine, if they want to invite her, that's a choice. What I'm saying that, should there be a double standard? Because Regina is a fourth or fifth to whatever wife, depending on who you're asking, right? But she's invited for something like this. But in their various churches, women that are married into polygamy, how do they treat them? The double standard is what I want to speak about. Is she respected because oh, they get money? Oh, the wife is a wife of a senator. Is that really when we want to talk about with uh, upholding the Christian standards? Is there a double standard among the rich people and the everyday people in your church? Right? I really hope people are getting what I'm saying. So, a lot of if you see how a lot of women are treated in their churches because of who had a baby out of wedlock. Um, divorcee um, polygamy the way they are treated in churches they are put some in short eh, some churches will actually excommunicate excommunic, ex, some some churches actually excommunicate such women or they will never be recognized for any like if there was any uh, um special occasion they can never be dickinesses dicking, they can never be this and that and that right and then uh, not to talk of this is an occasion they can never be put in a position to even be uh, at the top if that makes sense so my question is this the way regina daniels is respected as in her choice to be in a polygamous marriage is respected and yet they recognize her enough for a gathering like this why do they not do the same for the everyday women that come to their churches let me say it again what I'm speaking about is that double standard. 
right i don't know this is the question i want to pose here what do you guys think about that and uh, it's not going to be a long video as always what do you guys think about that i really want to hear people's opinion and then to be important for you know the christians among us too uh, because i recognize that some, there are some muslims that are watching me so it may not really apply to them but the christians the born again christians well what is your view on this and i look forward to reading your opinions about it as always whatever your opinions are please leave them in the comment section and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye